Okay, I want to dispel some myth that people say all the time uh, about over unity. Now, you know, I claim that I am the father of over unity. That's right, I invented it. So, these people are out there claiming that this has more power out than going in. And as you see, this thing is down to 84%. It's only going to continue to run for 33.6 hours. And it's even. It's even. Now it's plugged in. That means that my plug is overheating and it's putting less, less electricity into uh, this actual grid. So, you only have 8 watts now going in, and you have 8 watts going out. Therefore, the extra energy that it needs, including the amps, is even, and now is relying on the battery, and therefore is draining the battery. Okay? So that just blows their concept of over unity right out of the water okay now if you have more energy going in than you have coming out you do have over unity and that's called a loop that means you have cycle energy so we're going to try to represent that by raising that number at the top that means in 8 watts going in and see if we can make that number that says time to empty go back up let's see what happens hold on let me get this ready okay we got this going here get this cord out of the way and Yeah, we got it just right. And the time just went to 100 again. We got 10 watts going in and we have 8 watts going out. The fan is running. This fan is running. Okay. Nice cool air. And this this is what we're talking about looping or over unity which is a cycling of energy okay and as you see the person who invented over unity can actually do this loop the time goes back up okay let's see if we hit this and show turn the fan off just for a second look at that see so that's time to charge to be full this is time to fill three okay so that means no energy is going out so let's turn it back on okay come on cooperate with me so we're now turning it back on and That happened too quickly. Let's see if we can catch that. Let's see. Get this just right. Hold on. It's, everything's in the way now. Okay. I think we got it. So. Oh, the plug went out. Let's see here. Did, did I pull the plug out of the thing? Oh, this is terrible. It pulled it right out. Okay. Let's see if we can get that back up and going. Okay. Okay. 
is charging now. Let's see, it's turning this on. Turn the fan back on. See how fast that went out? That means it's more energy going in than coming out. That means this battery will start filling back up or stay right at the thing. But if it stays at 8 and at 10, yeah, it's going to start filling back up. But uh, you really have to be have more energy going into the system than you do have coming out of the systems. And you can make these loops all the time. I can link other videos that says the same thing if you guys want to watch it I can put it into the description and you'll see that even the professionals will tell you that when you're dealing with tire grids and other things that you can use that with a battery backup and the energy that you're producing will charge the battery itself the battery backup so when the professionals tell you this you got to stop listening to people telling you what over unity is when they didn't create it in the first place. So we're going to keep doing these experiments. We're going to keep showing you that it's ways to make this thing work with solar and still be in a small confined area. You just got to know what you're doing and how to do it. And we're going to blow all those myths out of all those people telling you wrong. So this is just another information, just a little bit more to show you step by step as we do this. Now, what am I making this other video for? One, this has been running all night. This fan was just left on to run. Now, as you see, when the power was not turned off sometimes at night or it went even which we showed at the beginning of the video it only went down to 84 percent so i wanted to film that get this back up to where it was supposed to do and that's the failure of the plug it means those plugs overheat and it starts to lose power now if you notice when we have full power that thing will go up to 11 watts right now is only going up to 10 we plugged it into a different plug okay but it's telling us too that if you want to keep this cycling energy that the solar must put out at least 5 volts and 2 amps or more so once you achieve that you can at least take 9 to 8 watts out. So you always want to be at least four, 3 to 4 watts over what you're taking out of this battery backup. And that's what we're learning. How much energy before we cross that threshold do we need it? Now if it's even 8 to 8, it's going to drain the battery. Okay, so it's not even in and even out. You're going to have to put more energy into the system than you're taking out of the system. And then if you can't do that, you have to divide the systems. That means you have to put another battery, another thing. Just divide it up. And then you'll be able to break this down into smaller increments. And then you can take that power and do just what I'm doing running a greedy fan the motor that's a motor in there this this motor right here that greedy fan okay and run it in an emergency indefinitely okay you never hear me say that word perpetual it doesn't exist it's not real it was fake from the beginning but we you'll hear me say indefinitely that means we don't know when it will run out but it will run for long periods of time and we're proving that that's what over unity means even in a river with a water wheel 
It will run for long periods of time, but sometime that river is going to dry up or that water wheel is going to break down. So it's nothing perpetual. Nothing lasts forever. They always break down. We call that wear and tear. So now what we do, knowing that, we say water's wheel will run indefinitely. That means we're acknowledging that the wear and tear on this any object will stop the process and then that becomes scientifically sound okay so we're going to keep this up and we're going to show you that the people who claim over unity just don't know what they're talking about okay oh they just don't they just don't know how to calculate or, or do these things so the person who knows how to do it of course i'm not going to get much attention or anything but i'm going to keep doing these experiments and showing you the facts of it the numbers you can't you can't argue with the numbers okay this is this go zero has passed through charging and because it has passed through charging, that's the reason why I spent three hundred dollars for it. It's, I mean, I think the price is a little high, but that's okay. To get that uh, battery back up is the reason why I wanted to show this and why I spent the money to show that. Okay, because you just got too much information out there that's just totally wrong. So when you start arguing with numbers, you're just not in reality. Okay. So we're going to end this here and um, publish it. But you can see that this thing is doing just fine. And the time to empty is at 100. That means another four days and some hours. Okay. But that number you know, it's probably not going to tick up while I'm talking, but the whole point is you have more power going into this system than you're taking out and it's charging because it has passed through charging. I won't use products that don't have pass through charging. That means I start to get rid of all those battery backups that don't have pass through charging. And I'll show you why, because I, I want to show you if I got something that both have charged pass through charging that I can use one to charge the other with a little trick and keep that energy cycling. So when I I'm going to buy another one of these gold zeros just to prove that point that I can cycle the energy out of one cycle energy back into the another one if you know how to do it and keep that cycle going so stay tuned all right and uh, check the comments at the bottom or the description for any information I, I leave or references and stuff that I leave all right that's the end of this video